Earlier on, I was explaining how to etch a macro. Here, I'm having a micro. This is a macro with two worlds. Okay. So now I want to do a macro such examination. What I'm trying to do here is to check if there is a full penetration of full, full fusion between the parent metal and the world. Okay. So my goal here, I'm gonna try to draw a line there. So I'm gonna try to draw a line there. Okay. As straight as possible. Okay. And then as I want to evaluate affiliate world. Right. So I want to find I want to find worlds this side that side so everything behind this line of mine the vertical line does not count anything behind my horizontal line does not count so for me to testify that this is well welded and there is enough fusion what i need to see i don't i want to see this world traversing crossing the line the continuous line of my parents metal for the horizontal plate i mean the vertical plates as well as the horizontal plates so they i can see that the world is already that side so i can testify that there is enough fusion that side as well now i want to measure the gate length okay so for me to measure the gate length i need to see my roots this is the root what I'm saying, the roots, I'm going to give you an, an, a demonstration here. A demonstration here. So if I can draw my plate, don't mind my, my way of drawing. If I can draw that. Okay. So that is my roots. I want to see fusion on the roots. I want to see penetration of the world in the roots. So my world is the Okay. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure the length. Thus, horizontal one but also consider it as my leg length one so from the end of the world to where the, the world starts actually where the other plate is that is my first measurement so I can record this with my venue 9.36 millimeter so that is 9.36 millimeters okay so now if I have to measure the other length the other leg length there we go so then if i can measure that one i see it's 10.335 millimeters so 10.35 millimeter as as me nine okay so the difference between z1 and z2 z1 z2 okay must not be above three millimeters must not be above three millimeters. So it must be under three millimeters. And for ISO, for ISO 1.5614 dash one, as well as 9606 dash one, the difference between the legs, this the, the leg length, okay, the difference between the leg length must not be above the throat, the size of the throat thickness. Actually, 1.5 plus. 0 0.515 the throat thickness that is my throat thickness okay so there is so now for you to find the throat thickness that is my throat thickness okay so that's one way from the root to the in mechanical engineering or in engineering you consider that to the that one that thickness to determine the how strong the world is okay so mathematically, what you can do, you can see, it's just that, it's just that, and then you know that if you have to measure that, what you do, you take a uh, one point square root of two times the smallest z divided by two, and that one give me zero point seven zero seven one times the smallest z. So here. If uh, here I can get my smallest z, I'm gonna do a quick calculation here. Hold on a minute. 
I'm gonna do a small calculation here. I'm gonna use my computer. I'm gonna use my computer there. And then, if my computer, 0 0.7, one times, 9.36 or 9.36 which is my smallest uh, leg length then we can see the then I can get it 6 6.61 millimeters if you want if you have any doubts you can see the sorry it's 6 something the okay you see that okay so thank you so much for watching this video and for the next season thank you